We're going to show how to make uh, pizza, one way to make pizza in our RV. This is the pizza bread. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. It's flat bread. Flat bread. And then we just put it, she puts it on this pan with a tin foil. And we make two, one at a time. And then we have the uh, oven going. And you can see down here. And uh, you just put this on light, and you have to hold that in. I didn't know that until I read the manual, and then light that to light them. So uh, she discovered you have to turn this up a little higher. We're preheating it right now to 450. For 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. And what kind of sauce is this? Uh, this is pizza sauce that I made myself okay. with uh, tomato sauce and some spices. Well, All right, so we got the sauce on there, and uh, this is flatbed bread that she buys bought for this trip because she usually makes the pizza from scratch at home, the dough. But we didn't know how that oven would work, and we did it the other night, and it worked pretty good. And uh, so we'll see how this see how this comes out. We're going to show it so you can easy way to make pizza. Okay, we got the mushrooms cut up, and then uh, she puts this on a plate and puts this in the microwave just to get the grease off of it for about 20 seconds 20 or 30 20 or 30 seconds then we have this all cut up and then we have the onions and green pepper, uh, red peppers cut up blot the grease off of there a little more healthy for you right yep get some of that grease off of it Putting the cheese on. I do a little bit of cheese. Kind of cheese. Just mozzarella. I do a little bit of cheese and then I put the toppings on and then I put more cheese on top. Just seems to make it a little better. Okay, we're putting the final, all the toppings are on, putting the final layer of uh, cheese on top. So I our toy hauler has the Furion stove and oven, propane of course, and which rack do you use there? Um, I just use the one rack. There's one rack in it. The other one is more like, I think it's like a drip tray, but... That's an aluminum pan that we put the bread there on, flat bread with a tin foil. Yep. And then, um, uh, so we're going to leave it on 450? Probably for about 15 minutes, but I always check it. I'll let you know how long we cook it. So while that one's cooking, we're making the second one. We had this uh, last week. We're still up here in Fool Hollow, and it was really good. I liked it a lot. The only thing is, is that this oven is only big enough to put one of these in at a time. So you have to cook one for 15 minutes, take it out, and cook the other one for 15 minutes. Might be difficult if you had a bunch of kids waiting on pizza. You'd have a mutiny on your hands. <laughs> It'd take you forever to cook uh, pizza for everybody. So about halfway through, we, we turned this up a little bit, almost 500. And then we're going to see how it is. We want to show the crust, how it's not burned or anything. So, the other one's ready to go. Stand by here in a couple of minutes. Okay, we got the finished product there. Now, it doesn't quite brown up. We might leave it in a little bit longer. How long has that been? That's been about 16 or 17 minutes. Okay, about probably 17 minutes. Which to me seems a long time. In the oven at home, I only cook it for 15 minutes, but that's a homemade pizza with fresh dough and everything, and it only cooks for about 16 minutes. So, okay. Now that felt crispy when I let's lift it up when here I and see. cut it. Let's see how this looks. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, fair. that's an easy way for guys to make uh, pizza in their RV. And I'm telling you, it's pretty good. I was pretty impressed the other day. I'm used to the homemade crust that she makes at home. But we wanted to try this first with the flatbread instead of making dough. So we got the second one in there. So thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody.